All right, so Tesla's extending the warranty on some Model S's and Model X's that were built 2018 and earlier. And if you're having trouble with your MCU then and you're out of warranty, you might now be in warranty. So let's take a look at the notes. We're going to see what it says here. Now, Tesla's indicating that uh, they are going to extend this warranty for eight years or 100,000 miles. So that is some peace of mind that is going to be going on with electronics there. I believe previously they were probably doing the 50,000 or the 30,000 mile warranty uh, on the electronics there. But the warranty adjustment program applies to only Model S and Model X's built before March 2018. Model S and X that were built during or after March 2018 as well as all infotainment upgrades are not equipped with an 8 gigabyte EMMC. That's the one that is going to be the problem child for this. And Tesla had come about and, and learned that they are having trouble with it. So what did they do? They stepped up to the plate here and provided that. Now, not only are they providing you a warranty, what they're also providing you with is if you've already paid out, it looks like they're getting some credits uh, here for a, a fix that was there. Now, I don't know if this was sparked by a lawsuit or if it's just Tesla coming out and doing it on their own. But a lot of the times when this happens like this and they extend a warranty out, uh, they know that a lot of these MCUs are going to last past that. So they don't really have a real high cost to uh, replacement issue here. If you were having trouble with your car and the MCU on it, this is a fix for it. Don't wait. Get out there and take care of it right away. Even if it's something with your screen flickering and flashing. And let's take a look at the notes again and you'll hear some of the symptoms on here. So Tesla is aware that this component may malfunction due to an accumulated wear. If this occurs, it could result in a blank or intermittent blank center display or an alert indicating that the memory storage device has degraded and to contact service. So if you do see something like that, contact service immediately. Not only one that, because we're right now in between uh, COVID time, there is some extended wait periods when you try to get your car serviced in there. And mine is going in for service and it's uh, November 5th right now. And the next one is December 13th. So more than likely, Tesla, when you set up the appointment, is not going to just blacklist you from the warranty once they figure out you're over warranty if you come into December like I am. However, what you want to do is try to get in there as soon as possible. This way, you can get it replaced one and two. They'll take care of it for you and probably schedule you some uh, maybe even advanced replacement for it like that. That's what they did with the, the hardware three upgrades, and they were really uh, helpful with that with specific on my car here. Now, this doesn't affect the car, as you're going to see in the notes here. They don't say there's any injuries or any uh, damage that has occurred from this, and it's all new. So that chip and that board and that MCU itself has failed a few times, and in, instead of it being uh, replaced or a recall, what they're doing is extending the warranty and replacing those that fail, because apparently not all of them have failed. So if you do own one of the Model S's or X's, you don't need to do anything unless your screen is having trouble, which is great, because if you don't have any trouble, then then you don't. But chances are that you may have uh, some troubles with that MCU that's in the car. Now, remember, reimbursement is key here. Tesla will reimburse you for, I think, some repairs or something along those lines. You can read the details in the notes here. Please be aware that any repair conducted for the part and condition described above at a non-Tesla service provider more than 10 calendar days after the date of this notice is not eligible for reimbursement. So Tesla... Outwardly apologize for this here. The bottom line there says, thank you for being a Tesla customer. We want you to love your vehicle and we apologize for this inconvenience. If you have any questions, see the FAQ below or contact through your Tesla account or online. Most owners are going to get some information sent to their car for this here. But in, for whatever reason, if you don't have your notifications on and you've seen this here, let those people know they might have that you know issue in 2017, 2016 and some of the earlier models right there will be able to get this fixed if they're experiencing problems. Now, the biggest thing here is if you've previously paid to get your MCU fixed from Tesla, reach out to them through the online portal or on the uh, the app. So if you wanna find out more information about this, I'll put a link in the description. You can go to tesla slash support slash warranty hyphen adjustment hyphen program and get all the information there. This is the first I've seen of it. As a matter of fact, I think it's the first I've ever seen of any car company that done this uh, that I've owned. So this is a first for me on any of my cars for having a warranty extended. Thankfully, I have a Model 3, but I did have a Model S that we did sell, get rid of, and hopefully that new owner will be able to get that replacement fixed and taken care of. I don't think I was having any troubles with it, but uh, it did have that older MCU in there. So, all right, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. This one might not be interesting to you, but uh, as always, leave some comments down there if you know someone this could help out. 
Share it with them. Let them know about it. Model S and X will have a warranty adjustment. So I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.